Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, a War of the Chosen. My name is Saigon and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with uh, less soldier options, less equipment options, limited HP and stronger enemies via a better advent and a better chosen. We're about to destroy an alien relay and very difficult tells me that we're potentially fighting against the hunter. A challenge that I am more than willing to accept and we got a nice little round uh, yeah a team the half of the team uh, uh, Jessica Rabbit Wards quick feet and primos are from the prime team we're in that weird spot where a couple of the prime team has now hit the colonel rank and therefore they will like focus on training whilst the others still gain experience so we fill up the group with Sandman and Sue Cougar in order to kind of round up uh, that team. What I'm always trying to do in most of my runs is uh, get more than one team onto the colonel rank, that way you do have a backup plan in case someone dies. Also, it is more fun to see low level soldiers fight against overpowering challenges. That really, um, that really warms my heart. There we go. We just landed. Let's take a good look course everybody is visible at the beginning but we got two stealth units and we got nine rounds in order to complete this mission luckily for us our reaper is kind of the fastest soldier in existence I think what we can do is already take the high ground here. Very good. Quick feet with his concealment. Might as well move up uh, to there. We're going to wait and be just out of line of sight. There is an opportunity for high ground next round. Same here. We can grapple ourselves up. Zukuger potentially move up. Oh, words of course, not Zukuger. And I think we can just overwatch a tiny bit. They might be running into us and or even triggering. Yep, that's what they do. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we missed. Wow. World class Overwatch shots. I can't believe this is. We're so bad in hitting Overwatches. Ooh, are we going to school, Jake? Is it going to happen? You know what? Why not? Let's go for it. Zukuger charges in. And this Advent officer must be tripping. We even got some intel out of it. Fantastic. Interestingly enough, the codex just appears out of thin air somewhere else. I can already foresee that this is going to be bad. It'll eventually teleport in. Good. So what are we dealing with? This is an Advent Guardian. Uh, seems like that guy has either a shotgun or a sniper rifle either way he needs to be shredded and an elite trooper same deal here let's shred him all right that worked like a charm good we could take the uh the difficult shot or or using the absolute power of our suit and are taking the much easier shot 
There should be a death from above kill. kill I don't like that we're standing in the middle of fire. I'm not even sure why the fire even erupted in the first place, to be entirely honest. Target, removing its cover. And I think we're okay. We can stay here. Wow, 15 points of damage. Hell yeah. Sandman, on the other hand, continues to move up. Let's take a peek into the main room. Viper Spectre, and I'm pretty sure there was another pack here. Don't want to go in too deep. I go where I am needed. A target is marked. Wow, triple Spectre plus Sector. That's a beefy target. No, normally, the Spectres are not so much of a problem because uh, with Revival Protocol, you can immediately counter Shadowbound, but we don't have that option. So eventually this eventually we will something. Is that an environment suit? Maybe eventually we will need other means to deal with it. I advise caution, Commander. So we can hit from here. Like essentially standing here we would be able to spot out the target, right? Right? Not sure. Am I worried about the seven rounds is the question. So far we're doing fine. Rock and roll. These hands were a bit clumsy. So far, we're doing well. I think we could move over here. Heading out. Don't worry. We're not standing in the open. We're Modern using the Mac for full cover. Dandy. Nice little trick. And are they actually coming? Potentially not yet. I want to use kill zone if possible. For now, we're just overwatching. I am wondering... Uh, that If that hole would be a bit a big bigger, a bit bigger... Ah, uh, there's still a bat in the way. Ah, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Barely not visible. We're overwatching, and that's pretty much it. Affirmative. Quick feed moves up. Weavers are always vigilant. Affirmative. Covering now. Surely there's a more difficult task available. Good. Is anyone moving into our direction? Definitely want to engage the next pack as soon as possible. You will never hide from me. The invaders send a patrol. Wow, there is yet another pack. Okay. Good, so one pack there, one pack there. It's a pretty packed. It's a pretty packed environment. Terrible punchline. Okay, we could open that. At the same time, we would potentially not do ourselves a favor, to be entirely honest.
we could try to get rid of uh, this uh, thing. And by doing so, essentially eliminating the whole timer of that mission. But in order to do that, we would potentially need to engage with that pack. I will go. Or alternatively, we got no, we have to pull those guys. Moving up, this should not trigger yet. Those guys might be walking over here, so we gotta be a bit careful. We're Trying to move uh, closer to the wall. Roger that. The hail Ma the hail mary play would be to just dead eye shoot this uh, thing and. Uh, and flee we could do it from here but it eventually will pull at least that pack so I want to be careful that we do have the ability to at least um, get the Reaper out if we're if we're intending to do that so far we're okay so far we're okay Lightning Reflex has saved him quite a bit there. There we go. Come on. Nice. We're potentially fighting the most powerful pack during this mission. Let's try to, or well, let's hope that we're not pulling an additional pack. Those guys are still out of range, but wow, that's a hardcore pack as well. I think that's show of strength, which is the whole reason why we're seeing so many was uh, such large packs I have sight beyond vision. all right fighting against two at the same time good we we do have a bit of an issue here well we could try to take control of the heavy mag I do think that that would be a pretty bad idea can mark a couple of targets. I think that that would not be the worst. That would not be the worst idea. At the same time, Quick Peak has got to be careful uh, if we're moving closer, pulling yet another pack. So there is not enough, uh, there is not a lot of room for maneuvering here, to be entirely honest. I would say we're starting with a uh, with an attempt to dual hit. Okay, 
so that missed but should mark. We're going to do an advanced teamwork. Hundred percent, and I think we're going to take that one. He has a lot of armor. The AP rounds are helpful, and I want to make sure that we're not getting flanked under any circumstance. So if we can auto reload, and let's kill the puppeteer. <laughs> Minimum damage. Are you kidding me? Okay, well. For well, now, we're okay. Half cover. This guy has full cover, but I think I can't remove that full cover. I can very much remove the half cover, though. I'll leave this here. Fantastic. In terms of combat protocol, Spectre's count is biological, so no extra damage. However, that was a decent hit. We could kill two for one here. Might not be the worst idea. On the flip side, we're not having a lot of other options uh, with um, this pair here. I need ammo. Let's start marking him. So, ah, the open spaces, the fresh air. Moving back, let's kill that specter. Efficiency is my and now we're My going to take some retaliation. At least one shadow bond. Blade storm is absorbed by lightning reflexes. And there's the shadow bond. We are good to go though because we can uh, kill him. He's already severely injured. Luckily, that damage does not. Uh, that damage does not trigger. Um, any damage on uh, the original target if you just kill the clone you'll still be fine want to kill quick feet but we want to kill the specter How many is that now? gotta be careful here we know that uh, blade storm can easily uh, trigger Can we somehow mark this guy? We cannot. Still got four more turns. What's the cooldown? I don't. 
I don't want to I don't want to risk not being able to move in here and destroying it. Much damage, five to six, not enough. I mean, we could use a rock launcher, but I pretty much refuse to do that. Ooh, what we could do is we could straight up strike him. Melee vulnerability, my friend. <laughs> that was the right play. That was what I was looking for. Perfect. Mind control lost. that one of them vanished back here. This here might be a decent position for us to see the target but still be far enough away. Very good. We got the target, Vortex is theoretically ready. Can't position us anywhere more beneficial. Understood. Sniper moves in. Jessica overwatches. Quick feed reconceals because maybe we need to sneak up there and eventually do a tech team dual kill that thing. Reloading. I'm reloading and Overwatch. To Overwatch. There is nowhere to hide. Exterior plate holding. Well, it could have been worse, much worse. More of the invaders are coming. That, for instance, is a uh, one way of um, making it worse, much worse. All right, the Spectre is a big, pretty massive problem. Marking it, very good. Okay, that's not the worst spot, to be entirely honest. Let's take the secure route and kill him. All right, moving up here for the nice high ground advantage. and we need to get rid of uh, the actual target and there is a codex on top of it
don't have blue screen rounds, so the codex will not just die. We could throw a flashbang grenade in and essentially make it die. the plan master chief could ignore it for now that will cost us dearly next turn because we're going to lose tempo we could try to kill it we're probably not going to be successful in doing so that will again cost us dearly next turn we could kill that thing and that again would cost us dearly next turn because once we kill that all of these guys will move in Difficult decision. I think we're going to go for the Codex first. There is a chance that we're critting it, and if it crits, it will crit high. Let's try it. Did not crit. We got revealed. I'm spotted. Luckily for us. Did not duplicate yet. Moving on target location. Alright, moving away. And that's a solid kill. Alright, that, that worked target better point. than I would have expected. So next turn we just got to deal with the reinforcements here. Which yet again could be worse. These guys are luckily far enough away. That's good. Okay. So, let's deal with those three guys. We reload. And... Who can we actually hit? Well, that's one, two. I think we're going to start here. Perfect. Nah. I was about to say perfect timing for frostbite as well. But no. Let's try to get that purifier down. Seven, two, four, six, eight, nine. That would need to be maximum damage. It's a bit too much. I don't think that that will work. Those two hopefully can focus on the target and the target only. Tiny bit back. This is just setting him up for a death from above kill. Good. Let's kill him. Or let's alternatively just miss the 90% shot. To be honest, not really what I was expecting. Good. We're overdriving. We got three actions. Let's start with those. Oh, 
Bombarding would not hit more than one. Therefore, we're not going to do it. Wow, this guy is soaking up so much of our pressure. We have a problem with the advent back there. Can we hit both of them? Yes, we can. Well, in that case, let's get as many kills as we can and remove the cover. Okay, I think that was overall a decent turn. Sure that we're dealing with them. All right, chain shot in order to finally stop the timer. Did we miss? I'll get him next time. We did miss. That's unfortunate. All right, advanced teamwork over. to use that free action for reload moving in and killing the target next turn the transmission signal is okay so back let's go one more turn and we're barely hanging on But I think overall that worked out well. We've now stopped the data transfer, which is just what we wanted to do. Time to reconceal. That allows us to move in. As for the enemies, I mean, this would trigger, right? Right. On the move. This here should not trigger. Okay, perfect. Let's move already. Moving over into position. The second reload i think yeah i wasn't sure wanted to make sure that we're that we're in decent position potentially next turn with a kill zone Come get some. overwatch overwatch Stop another overwatch and kill zone into that direction just in case they are moving Okay, so we pulled the first pack. Second one is still waiting. And we can play our cards right. We can 
engage the first pack only for now. And use kill zone on those uh, three. Okay, a couple of combat op uh, protocol options, none of which I would take. I think instead, uh, hail of bullets in order to get that guy would be a decent option. Sandman so far is not going to engage. Ooh, frost bomb onto all three of them would be so so sweet. We would gain a lot by just using the frost bomb on tour three but unfortunately we can't hit them from here frostbite i'm going to save that for next turn and i will effectively just kill zone because they will be charging in and we will get more than one shot out of them We could go for a strike, but that would trigger a hundred percent. Spectre is an option, but only after we marked it. Good, moving up here. hundred percent hit plus the marking start hitting it further which is good and let's get the specter down that way we're preventing any nasty surprise. I think what we can do is send men can eventually move over here. Nice little flanking position. 100% chance. And the Viper goes down as well. Plus we're even keeping our concealed status, which is fantastic. Reload. Overwatch because that's exactly what we're going to do and no, we're not going to grapple. I want that kill zone right here, right now. Nice one. That's a good hit. That was a good hit. Fantastic, the second one. That's the type of kill zone setup that you would like to have. Oh yeah, three for three, fantastic. And one stun lancer who is moving around the block. He's up for no good. We might be using our flashbang for him. I am at your service. Deep behind enemy lines. If we were to crit, this guy would effectively be in a troublesome situation if not we are in troublesome situation so we're not going to do that right away we got a frost bomb 
just out of curiosity, if we were to like deploy it right here. Uh, I can't hit both of them. At the same time, I'm wondering this would kill and shred quite nicely so that could be an option as well and we also got the good old rocket launcher i think what we can do is we could reload rocket launch and then take it from there Uh, should have checked the rocket launcher beforehand. That is lamentable. I mean, we can still do something meaningful by hitting the mag and essentially killing it. Ready to engage. But yeah, that was suboptimal. Let's try to hit the mech. Can we disable it? Yes, we can. Yes, sir. I can boogie. Might be able to hit uh, help with a stun lancer. Moving over here. We still got Blade Storm. Fortunately, just a grazing hit. Luckily we crit, and that means the one stun lancer that is in the arguably worst position is done. Got four more turns to take. This here takes care of the uh, the second stun lancer and shreds. So I think we're going to go for the play. Before we're doing that though, let's move into it. solid cover. Nice little incendiary grenade. Although the Andromedon is immune to the burning effect, it is certainly not immune to the shredding or the damage and we got a placeable so we could even move further fantastic let's see if we can get the andromedon down we cannot that is okay shit happens Just a couple of hit points. And unfortunately we did not hit. Well. Poop over here. That's potentially going to be the acid spit. Yeah, not not a surprise at all. Not a surprise at all. If you cluster up, that's the logical consequence.
right, time to move up and reposition. Same deal here. I am out of ammo. Back in. I see shredding him. And let's just get out of uh, the danger zone. make sure that we're definitely not taking any casualties here or more damage moving up next round we're going to kill it some more acid damage, unfortunately. I suppose this body is disposable. Yep, and we gotta make sure that we're speeding this up. Like I said, we don't want any casualties. Ready to engage. The acid bomb was quite nasty. Let's give Jessica the kill. And that was okay. Unfortunately, we were a bit um, unlucky with the uh, with their positioning. Could have um, pushed a bit harder for the Andromedon, but yeah. Overall, the rest was okay. Okay, do we get a promotion? Wow. Well, we got 12 days on uh, Jessica, which is fine. <clears throat> Primus will take quite a few days to get repaired, but I think overall that's okay. Sukugur got a promotion, which is nice. Unfortunately, none of the Prime Team soldiers got any promotions. Got some extra intel and some corpses. Good. Dark event counter counter attack. I'm not 100% sure what that was. I don't know. Not from the top of my head. I think it was... Uh, no, rural checkpoints were increased uh, recruiting costs. No, nah, I don't know. Maybe counterattack on stun lances. Okay, so we'll have to find a means of breaking the code. We are hopefully going to. So first of all, we've reduced the avatar progress, which is great. We are hopefully continuing to make contact here. We got enough intel, so might as well make contact. All we need are more um, more three slots, and we're going to do that by resistance communication getting these two extra contacts over here and time to make contact to eastern europe because that will speed up or improve the quality of the laboratory which we're currently building from there we could uh, capture asia i think this is where the berserker queen originally had been Good, we got tactical advances. That is fantastic. The Baupups are now dealing one <coughs> damage more. And I think we wanted to get kind of the vector rifle as well. There is a promotion available. And I think one way of uh, working on the primary team is 
to essentially hand out promotions. Wards almost got her promotion. Like, she's a captain for a while. Quick Feet, on the other hand, does not. So we're putting Quick Feet on here. Putting a scientist there. And a rookie, a rookie. So, seven more days. You know what? Um, no, 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 it's fine. Instead of a rookie, how about we're putting boards here? Because that reduces it to six days. And boards get some experience on top. Not the worst idea. Psyche, not the worst idea. So, that'll give us some extra, extra speed. Plus one damage on the vector rifles is good. So, let's go for it. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. The promotion is just the icing on the cake. Fantastic. Battlefield medicine means that the nanomed kits finally heal a bit more. We got enough sparks. Blue screen protocol is banned, so we're not going to do that. School mining could be something that might be interesting. That way we could continue school mining. Yeah, let's let's go for it because that'll allow us to uh, kill certain advents right right away. And also gain some bonus on top of it. And we got an engineer plus 85 window. That's not too bad. I think that's oh, a pretty good mission. Not that we desperately would need engineers. I mean, if you look at the distribution, that would be our 10th engineer. Whilst we're still struggling to make ends, uh, needs with our uh, scientists. So a scientist would have been better. But I think overall it's fine. We got plenty of room in the power relays. And soon our laboratory will be done. We also need to go for the shadow chamber. We're still seeing a steady flow of migrants so the city. maybe we're sure focusing on the codex research the next and then we got the and shadow chamber sure ready to be built as well there are quite a few well, there are quite a few uh, things that we should research i mean just look at the amount of stuff that is available for us you're wrong about that doctor we can offer them freedom even if it means they have to endure the pain. Okay. <clears throat> and other than that, let's just do a last check here in the trainings, uh, in the trainings facility. I think re lightning reflexes for Frodo is a nice investment, so might as well go for it. Almost all of the soldiers now have lightning reflexes. That is fantastic. Like we can even buy Shadow Step here, which means. Almost all of the Prime team will not trigger uh, Overwatch shots. That's good. I like it. Not a bad trade to have because uh, typically I would uh, skill it on the Ranger. Uh, but uh, since we're uh, always skilling the worst skill, we don't have that available in this run. And uh, the next mission will likely contain maybe the Spark and kind of the second team. So yeah, I think we're good to go. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you in two days. If you like the content, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below, as always, and uh, see you very soon. Bye-bye.